In this video I explain how to create H5P slides with multiple videos. It's a great way to introduce the team members, educators or several topics in a single slide. Following my step-by-step -step instructions, you will be able to create exactly the same H5P presentation and provide your learners or website visitors with much more engaging and personalized experience. H5P enables users to create interactive and engaging presentations using a range of functionalities. Embedding videos in the slides is just one of these functionalities. You can introduce the team members, educators or course modules in a single slide. Instead of pages of text or several slides, you can use video clips allowing each member introducing themselves or introducing the areas they are responsible for. I'm showing you an example right now, but if you're interested in checking out how it works in practice, there is a link below the video so you can go to the post and check it out. So the same approach can be really applied in many different scenarios. For example, you can introduce content. Uh, with the video, you can present more detailed outline of modules on a single slide than it would be possible with text. You can explain concepts or graphs. So you might add videos on a slide where the spoken explanation would work better than a diagram on its own. Um, you can use video to gamify your content, so you can create a sort of quiz and ask questions and give three answers and then ask learners to choose one of the solutions and when they click on play, they would hear instant feedback to this answer. Okay, so let's see how you can do that, how you can add multiple videos into H5P presentation or H5P slide. So step one is to create your H5P slide. You can log in for free and create your own account on H5P where you can start playing with this tool. I'm on my WordPress website where I create all the H5P artifacts for my uh, website, for my customers. So if you have courses on Moodle or Brightspace or one of the other LMS platforms, you should be able to use H5P as well. So check with the LMS administrator how to do that. So I'm creating a H5P. I have a H5P presentation created uh, here and there is one slide so think about the number of sections or videos that you want to include is there going to be some text to all of that will dictate your slide layout so this moves us to step two which is adding background I have noted that is optional but I actually usually follow that step and include it in my process so you might decide to have some text or additional visuals on the background uh, remember that h5p is quite limited in terms of typography colors and fonts and kind of any design you, you're trying to do there, it's, it's quite limited. So it might be easier to create the background for that slide using a different tool. I use Canva, sometimes Google Slides and some other free tools as well, like Pixlr uh, or GIMP. Uh, I quite often include an image grid on my background. So you see the square boxes. This is uh, this grid will later guide me where images will sit and you'll see that later. Google Slides or Canva can distribute them evenly so there is this kind of option to organize them so they are tidy and organized symmetrically across the page and h5p at this stage doesn't allow to do that so i created my background in canva but you can also use uh, as i said google slides or even powerpoint so we have our slide created we have our background sorted. Step three is sourcing or creating videos that you will embed. You need to find or create your videos and create cover images as well that will be used as video thumbnails. As for videos, H5P allows to upload files or embed videos from the internet. Uh, just a note about the video size and the aspect ratio. For the team intro or gamified experiences, I usually go with square videos recorded in the one one aspect ratio. I think it just looks tidy and also you can fit more on the screen. If you need to record yourself on the mobile, you can choose that exact ratio. So I have my three videos that I downloaded for my project and three images that I will use as uh, thumbnails. So let's move to step four, which is uploading videos and thumbnails into a H5P presentation. So let's go back to our slide. While in your presentation on the slide, you want to have your videos in, click on the video icon, type the video title, 
choose your video. I'm choosing here videos from my drive, but you can also select YouTube uh, video link and you will be able to insert that here. Under visuals, choose a video poster image. That will be our thumbnail and upload it. Under playback, you have two options. In this case, I'm not changing them, but if you have a slide where you would like to have video start playing automatically, you should choose auto. And loop if you want to play your video over and over again. I'm just happy with as it is now. So under accessibility, you can add captions. I'm not doing that in this case. So the next option here that interests us is whether to display it as a button. I'm not activating video as a button in this case, but you, you might consider this option if you use videos in diagrams or complex charts. So they will appear not as a, a thumbnail kind of image, but as buttons and they take less space. Uh, we want in this case full video or video visual appearing on the slide. So I'm not ticking that. Step five is resizing and positioning videos in the slides exactly where we want them to appear. It can be tricky in H5P. So as I said, I usually have some kind of grid on my background art and this helps me to organize the videos quicker. So to resize, you need to grab the square on one of the edges and, and drag it. And as you drag this square, you can see the size of your video changing in the little pop-up box. So this is the first video now position to the place where we want it to be. For all the others, I will use a different technique. I'm going to use that little pop-up menu and type the dimensions that I want. So here is my video uploaded. Click on the clip, click on the arrows. This is a transform option. So from here, you can change position and the size. The first video was uh, 180 by 180 and I want this one to be exactly the same. So I type my dimensions and I click tab or click enter key. Okay, and I also can match the position using this menu. So let's have a look. The first image sits at 120, that's position Y. So let's do the same for the new or for the second video and type 120 and uh, voila. Okay, so uh, that's it. Your team slide is ready. If you're interested in other topics related to H5P or creating instructional materials using uh, this tool or Google Slides or some other free tools, subscribe to my channel and go to my website where you can subscribe to my newsletter. I regularly post videos with tips and step-by-step -step tutorials. So if this is of interest and you wanna stay informed, please subscribe. And that's it for now and thanks for watching. Thank you.